Hi everyone, my name is Cassidy and I'm a music therapist here at Able Arts Work. Today, we are going to be working on increasing gross motor skills and perceptual motor skills by learning some proper drumming techniques. So on a lot of our YouTube videos here on the channel, you might hear your instructor saying to grab some instruments, grab a drum and play along. But you might be thinking to yourself, Cassidy, what is the best way to play a hand drum? Now, there are many answers to that question because there are so many ways to play the hand drum. But today we are going to be focusing on the three main drum sounds. So that is the bass tone, the open tone, and the slap tone. So we are going to be looking at those three different sounds on two different drums. We'll be looking at the frame drum, and we'll also be looking at the djembe. Now, if you don't have a drum, you can also use a table or a chair or your bed or whatever is easiest and works for you. Before we get into it, I want to give you a little bit of background about these kinds of drums. So starting with the frame drum, the frame drum is thought to be one of the oldest and most ancient types of instruments. Now they didn't always look like this. They looked a little like this. But since drums are held very highly in a lot of cultures and thought of almost spiritually, frame drums were originally used to lead a lot of different spiritual ceremonies. Speaking of spiritual ceremonies, the djembe is also known to be used in a lot of ceremonies, both spiritual and non-spiritual. So the djembe is a West African instrument that actually got its name from the term Ankeje, Angabe, which means everyone gather together. So J means gather and Be means everyone. So therefore you get the term djembe. And the djembe is probably a little younger than the frame drum, with it only being about 400 to 800 years old, which is still pretty old, but not nearly as old as the frame drum. Both of these drums have been adapted from their original form to kind of work with modern society. So the drums that we see today aren't necessarily the exact ones that were invented so long ago. It is still good to know the history of these instruments and to know what they were originally used for. So now that we know a little bit about the drums that we're gonna be playing today, let's get right into the video. So we are going to start with the frame drum. So the first thing we need to know is how to hold the frame drum. Now there are three main ways to hold the drum. So those would be, so for professional frame drum players, they like to play holding the bottom of the drum, which is really difficult even for me. So some other ways that you can play it is by holding the top of the drum, or my favorite way is to lean it against your shoulder, almost like a violin. So you're leaning it against your shoulder and you're holding it. So you can see the sound still has room, so you'll be able to hear it, but it's less work for your arm when you're leaning it against your shoulder like that. Now, you can also play this drum just by sitting it on a table or a chair, but it's just not going to be quite as loud as if you were to hold it up and let that, okay, let me try again. So we're gonna start off by learning how to hold our drums. So starting with our frame drum, there are three ways that you can hold the frame drum. So the sound comes from this space. When you hit the drum, the sound kind of echoes out of here. You can imagine music notes coming out of this part. So however you want to hold it, you want to make sure that there's enough space that this still has sound. So for example, you could put it down on a table or a chair, for example, and you could still play it like this. It just won't be quite as loud as if you hold it up. So professional frame drum players hold it like this on the bottom 
like this, which can be very difficult. I highly recommend either holding it at the top like this, or my favorite way to play the frame drum is balancing it on your shoulder, almost kind of like a violin. You can see there's still a lot of space for the sound to move and flow, but it's less work on my arm since I'm kind of propping it against my shoulder. Now you can play it however you like, whichever method works best for you. But I'm gonna play it like this for the video. So, like I said before, we have three main sounds that we're working with. The bass, the open, and the slap. So starting off with our bass sound, you are going to want to place your hand kind of in the middle of the drum. It doesn't have to be exactly in the middle, but just kind of angled toward the middle is the best. But no matter what, you wanna make sure that your whole palm, or as much as your palm as you can get, is on that drum head. So it might sound something like this. That would be the bass sound. So let's try again. We have our bass sound. Let's do four bass. Ready? One, two, three, four. And you want to make sure that your hand is coming up kind of fast off of those. So one, two, three, four. Like that. Now our open sound. So you're going to move your hand down a little bit so that some of your hand is hanging off of the drum. And if you want, you can even move your thumb out of the way, but I don't mind mine just kind of hanging on on the edge there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a similar motion. And you're just gonna hit the corner. Did you hear the difference? So the bass sounds like this, and the open sounds like this. It's a little hard to hear the difference on the frame drum, but it'll be more obvious once we bring out the djembe. So we're gonna move down to our open sound, palms a little bit off. You can move your thumb out of the way if you need to, and just give it a one, two, three, four. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice job. So now we have our bass sound, our open sound, and let's do our slap. So this one is my very favorite of all of the sounds. So it's gonna look very similar to open, except for instead of moving your hand flat up and down, you're gonna kind of go to the side and give it a slap. So you, it's gonna look, let's do it this way. It's gonna look like this. Do you see that? See how my hand is? kind of turning a little bit. So instead of going like this, I'm going like this. Yeah, you got it. Okay, so let's try four of the slaps. Ready? One, two, three, four. Yeah, you got it. So remember, we have our bass, our open, and our slap. Do you hear the difference? Nice job. All right. Let's move on to the djembe. So djembes come in a whole bunch of different shapes and sizes. This is what mine looks like. There are also a lot of different ways to hold the djembe. So one way to hold it is like how I have it. So one way to hold it is like I have it, where you have it on your shoulder with the strap. And this is what that looks like. Another way to hold it is by sitting down and putting it in between your legs and tilting the drum a little bit. Remember how with the frame drum, we said that the sound comes from this open space. So the djembe is exactly the same. When you hit the top of the drum, the sound comes out of this open space at the bottom. So while you can put it fully on the floor, it's not gonna be as loud as if you have it open. So now let's go over our three main sounds on the djembe. So you have your base, you wanna have, once again, your whole palm on, kind of angled towards the middle of the drum. You don't have to put your hand all the way in the middle, but angled towards the middle and your whole palm on the drum. And that's gonna sound like this. That's a big sound compared to the frame drum, right? Let's do it again. 
Yeah. All right, let's do four bases. Ready? One, two, three, four. Nice job. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing for our open tone. We're going to move our hands so that a little bit of our palm is off of the side of the drum. And you're going to do the same motion, just come straight down. And you want to, once again, you want to make sure that you're moving your hand off fast. You don't want to linger because that'll stop the sound. You want to bounce your hand off the drum. Nice job. Let's do four of those. Ready? One, two, three, four. Nice. All right, let's do a bass. And an open. Yeah, do you hear that difference? It's a lot easier to hear on the big djembe than it is on the frame drum. All right, so let's go over our very last sound, which is the slap. So remember, once again, it's almost exactly the same as the open, except for you're actually gonna slap the drum. So this is the open, this is the slap. Hear the difference? All right, let's try four slaps. Ready? One, two, three, four. Nice job. Okay, now let's just practice doing bass, open, slap, bass, open, slap. I'm gonna do it two times. Ready? Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you were able to learn some new drumming techniques. Please try these at home, whether you're practicing or you're just playing along to some YouTube videos or your favorite music. I hope that you're able to use these techniques. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.